Transcend Wellness offers so many health services involving primary care and functional medicine. But Ascend Wellness Fit Studios offers a whole lot of fun. Check it out. Good morning. I am at Ascend Wellness Fit Studio with Ms. Jamie. This place is so cool. Yeah, it's cute. So, what do we got here and what are we doing? We have a handmade hula hoop made for adults to teach beginner classes here at Ascend Wellness Fit Studio. Okay, so we've been hula hooping it up and it's like super fun. Yeah. But if somebody is thinking to myself like, oh my gosh, I wouldn't even know if my body moves that way. What are the ages? Like, would you say, like, can anybody do hula hooping? Yeah, I, anybody can do hula hooping. My kids do it. My youngest is six and... I've taught at elderly care facilities and stuff, so from young to old, it <laughs> transcends all ages. Well, you were, into, you were talking about how, like, you, when you're getting good at it, you can burn as many calories as, like, running, yeah. but it's a lot lower impact. Yeah, it's low impact in the body, so people with respiratory issues can still do it. People with uh, a lot of muscle pain can still do it and still get access to fitness. That's cool. How how long are your classes? They're an hour long. Holy smoke! <laughs> I was not expecting that. That's a long. That's a long workout. But yeah. it, I can see how it can go so fast. Yeah, it's fun. And there's so much to learn. There's so many different moves to do. So. I'm sure. Well, you've been hula hooping for you said 15 years. Yeah, like 15 years. <laughs> so what made you think like you know what I'm gonna pick up a hula hoop and start diving into this? That was a friend of mine back when I was in college. I was a little bit heavier set. I was having issues with my health and my asthma, and I just asked her, you know. I can't, I don't like going to the gym. I'm terrified of the gym. And there's not a whole lot I can physically do. And uh, she suggested hula hooping. And I went and looked online and purchased my first hoop and instructional video. And I have just fell in love. Been um. doing it ever since. <laughs> <laughs> and so when you're talking about like what size of hoop for what person, because you also have some tinier ones, but that's a little yeah. more expert yeah, level. Yeah, that's the more advanced, intermediate <laughs> advanced hoops. But they should be around this, yeah. at your belly button height? You want them to be about belly button height when you're okay. first starting as a beginner. I mean, kids can use just about any size. And do well, they're really fine. bendy, yeah. you know? <laughs> but the adults, you want to have something that's the right size for you, otherwise you might feel like you're not getting it. <laughs> and uh, so a belly button height is the right size. So a question that I had asked right away is, are these weighted? No, I don't add extra weights because I don't want to leave people with bruising or hurting. I want everybody to be able to access hula hooping and feel comfortable. That's so oh, cool. This is so much fun. It really is so fun. Yeah. <laughs> um, if so, like, how many classes a week do you do? Uh, we're doing two classes a month right now. Okay. Yeah. And awesome. If the demand gets higher, then I guess I could do more classes. <laughs> well, I suppose you need to spend. Sp uh, spread out a little bit. It's not like you can fit a ton of people. Yeah, who I think together. we have a limit of 15 for okay. the class. Yeah. <laughs> and is it set to music? Yep, I just bring in some music that's good to just jam out to and uh -huh. feels good and that way everybody can just, you know, feel it out while they're learning and it helps just to have music to keep the rhythm and the beat and... And your wiggle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> your shimmy. Yeah. <laughs> so what are some of the... Like the muscles that you use when hula hooping, is it mainly your abs? Like, is it back, legs? Like, um, you're using all of them from, because the way you have to hold your posture, you're using your legs, you're using your core muscles in order to keep the hula hoop up. And then when you get to some of the more advanced moves and you can include the arm muscles, you can include so much more. <laughs> well, you've been performing for a long time and yeah. it, you make it look so easy. <laughs> Thanks. But I'm really excited just to learn a few of your basic techniques. Yeah. Are you ready to sh show me? Yeah. Awesome. All right, Miss Jamie, okay. let's lay it on me. How are we going to do this? Okay, so first you want to make sure you got the hoop against your back, and you want to make sure you're giving it an even push, and there's two stances. You can do side by side, okay. or one foot forward, whichever feels more natural. If you have, one, if you have your feet side to side, you're going to, you have two power points on the side of your body, and you're going to Go side to side. Okay. There you go. And for those who choose the forward stance, it's you're pushing front to back. Because you got power points on the front and the back of your stomach also. Look at that! I'm like a ninja. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> so you were talking about how you don't want to just go to the one side, you wanna yeah. make sure you're do you do it without stopping? 
Uh, you can once you learn how to do that. That's a, you can go to the other side with breaks. They're oh called breaks. Nope. But if you need to in the beginning, it's okay to stop the hoop and hoop in the other direction because it helps keep your spine aligned to be hooping in both directions. Okay. So that's one of the moves, or a couple of the moves that you do. Yep. What's another one? Another move we can do is called the revolving door, where you just put the hoop out in front of you. Okay. And then you're gonna step through it, pull it over your head, <laughs> and go back out, and then- Why do you make it look so natural? <laughs> 15 years of playtime. <laughs> <laughs> now would you, oops, am I gotten, would you alternate that too? Yeah, you can do that too. And go back the other direction. <laughs> <laughs> and pretty much any move you can do in one direction, you can do in both directions. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so then you were talking about the neck one. Yeah, we can do neck hooping too. And you never want to push with the front of your throat because you can injure yourself. You always want to push with the back of your neck when the hoop is going around your neck. One good push forward, and then every time it goes to the back, push back. I'm doing it! <laughs> Thank you so much. This has been so much fun. Yeah, thanks for having I'm me. I'm going to keep on hula hooping. Back to you in studio. <laughs> Oh, Sarah. <laughs> Sarah, you're too good at that. Oh. I could have never done that for so long. That was impressive. It was really, really fun. And you're working and out and having fun, so you don't even notice it. I know. Out. It just went so fast. I think it's just one of those. Everybody should try it. I would not be as good as you. <laughs> I think Sarah is a hula hooping champion. But go to ascendfitstudio.com for more information.